Hey, what's up guys? All right, a beautiful day ahead of us, man. Mowing the property. Now, I know you guys are loving these uh, different videos, showing the stripe, showing the drone, the whole uh, deal, doing the whole deal, right? Uh, but today, we're gonna be showing you guys the Toro Titan. The Toro Titan uh, is the new mower that Toro sent to us uh, earlier. It's got a little uh, Can-Am like three-wheeler uh, motorcycle thing. Those are pretty sweet. And uh, anyway, a lot of you guys are loving the little demos of the different equipment on the property. See what stripes, see what looks nice. Um, today we're going to be using the Toro Titan. Now, a lot of you guys wanted to know a little bit more of a follow-up uh, on that unit. The Toro Titan is a uh, 24, 23, 24 horsepower engine. Um, it is a 60 inch, the one that they sent us. Uh, I don't have any further obligations with Toro. Uh, we did a couple of videos for them in the spring. Now it's in the bonus round. Now I get to put it through my ring or my test. And the big claim to fame for the Titan was that it can cut three acre properties. Or it's like ideally set up for a little bit larger sites. The property behind us here is three acres. So the kind of like the perfect uh, ideal lawn for this thing is like one to three acres. It's a little bit larger residential uh, properties. And so let's go put it through the ringer. Uh, we'll try to fly the drone, show some stripe footage. We'll uh, look at the lawn, see if there's any stragglers. Um, I was mowing it on my mom's property. It does it in two minutes. We had the bagger. I actually took the bagger off, right? So uh, let's do this. I'm gonna unhook all this. And while I'm doing that, uh, I did record some quick video about how we took the bagger off. And then once we're done with that, we'll get out here, we'll get to mowing and uh, just do a little uh, time lapse in between. All right, so we're at my mom's. Just got done mowing the grass here. Looking really sharp. I just did this with the Z really quick, just because I'm trying to get out of here. But let me go show you guys this really quick. All right, so you get that uh, Iron Forge cutting deck. Let's get this off and get, so we can get on the road. Um, we got to take off the auger impeller. Got to take off the bagger, which looks like we got like two pins. So hopefully this should come off pretty easily. Let me try to do this really quick and show you guys what I find out if you've never done this before on the Toro Titan. All right, so here's where we're at. These two brackets here are what held the uh, hopper on for the bagger, right? So let me show you this really quick. It's these two little metal brackets. So the whole hopper just slid right on. Oh, there you go. All right, so get the bagger, pop this off, and uh, this rod, which I moved first, do it after. Just uh, put the pin back through, and so it looks like the rest of the kit uh, bolts on. So I'm not going to take this off. There's no need to, but I got a little uh, little hitch receiver here, which is kind of cool. So let's put something here if we need to. That's kind of nice. I'm going to leave it on. Kind of helps protect the engine a little bit too. Now we got to get this off and then we'll get to the property. All right, so I took the little covering off for the uh, double stack spindle that just kind of popped right out of there. Took a little bit of muscle, but let's see if we can get this thing figured out. It looks like if I get that belt off, this whole thing spins out. Okay, well, I guess this seems a little harder than I thought, but I guess the idea is to use this tensioner arm. It's a tensioner pulley idler pulley pull this all the way in and round out this but as you move this all the belts and the blades move so it's kind of a stiff little design and then i guess the idea here is this metal bracket if we just do this should pop oh there you go all right looks like it's on this other arm there we go. So this whole thing came off. Uh, pretty robust design from what I can tell. A lot of, a lot of steel components, that's always nice. Uh, the housing is like a, a hard plastic. Like a, I don't know what they call this, but uh, the blades, metal blades though. So that's, that's a good, it's a good sign, right? All right, let the camera focus. So that's a good sign. No plastics in there. So, and it looks like I can leave this bracket on and. It looks like they did take some of those design elements from like the, the Z Master line or the, the X marks where you can swing on, clamp onto the mower deck, discharge, so you don't have to like remove a bunch of uh, brackets and components. So, all right, well, I do have the discharge flap we're gonna put on there and then let's get to the property, guys. Let's go mow. All right, here is the discharge flap, which I do wanna make sure we have on our property. Uh, looks like a little peg here that you can 
uh, bring all the way down. We're learning together, fam. We're learning together. So, what do we think? Like up here somehow? All right, let me set the camera down. All right, well, here's my little critique tutorial. If I'm a commercial contractor and I can't figure this out, then your homeowners ain't gonna be able to figure this out. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. This is uh, annoying. So, okay, so if I get this going, where's this little spring go? Like this? Is it tension down? No, because it's supposed to tension on something. So this is supposed to go where? Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take this rod, get rid of the stupid spring, and reinstall it. Like so. And that's what we get. Alright, there's my little rod. Alright, I'll get a little uh, cotter pin here, which I probably have some. Oh, those are bolts. I got some cotter pins that I just threw back in there. In fact, a lot of times you can use a little key ring. How about that? Right out of my pocket. So, this is what we use a lot of time. If you ever get your car serviced on, like oil change, and they got the little uh, tags, this is what I do. I use these little little rings. I'm this one handed. Give me a break. But, all right, that's all you need. I use these all the time, man. I save them on my key lane, my key chain, my key loop. All right, so that's all we need. It's not going anywhere. Looks it up. Now, I do like that this is a hard rubber plastic. How to keep it tensioned? I don't know, it's probably gonna bounce up a bunch. But you know what, that's what we're doing today. All right, so here's what we're working with. Oh, I guess I can take the weight kit off too. Probably don't need that for what we're doing today. Oh. Okay. Sure, look it. Alright, this is actually a good 20, 30 pounds. Uh, we're just gonna set that there for now. Obviously no big deal for this gun show, right? <laughs> Alright, so I think we're back to like a stock standard unit. Again, I'll, I'll try to do a follow up on this. Maybe somebody can send me some photos or link me something or I'll catch up with Toro. Um, I threw the hoodie off because it's starting to get a little, a little hot, a little humid. But uh, the, hopefully this, this my ride proved itself at the property because it's a little hilly, little divot, a bunch of divots, right? So, all right, let's get rocking and rolling here. Let's not lose the headphones, and we will take this thing, put it in the trailer, and get that Z over here and get to moving. All right. All right. So we got the Toro Titan. We're ready to rock and roll. Hope you guys enjoyed the other little clip about taking the bagger system off. Like I said, it wasn't super, super hard, um, but this definitely needs to be revisited. That was kind of wonky. So, all right, well, it's 75 degrees. It's literally a perfect Michigan day, perfect fall day in those cooler mornings. And uh, let's go put the Titan to work, see how it does. And uh, I'm going to start a little time trial. I'm going to start a little time trial series that we can start doing with these mowers. And uh, seeing the good, the better, the best, the difference of time. Right now, it's 12.30. All right, so let's put it through the ringer. Throw on the Green Industry Podcast, throw on my podcast, listen to all of you guys, and uh, let's go take it away, see how we do.
right, guys, little little transition. Just wanted to chime in. Look at this. All right. I'm actually really impressed right now. Like Loki, I'm really impressed. Uh, I don't know if the stripes are showing up as well on camera. Here's last week's. Obviously faded out. And look at the stripes this week from the Titan, man. Uh, let's look at the time we got here. I'm listening to uh, Paul Jameson's episode 218, Summer Road Tour. It's 248. So it's been 20 minutes. And I'd say we've done, I'd say maybe a quarter, maybe a third. I've already outlined the whole property right uh, to get my outline and done a couple of stripes here, as you guys can see. But dude, she's laying them down. She's laying them down thick. It's looking really, really nice. Uh, all right, well, let's keep it going and uh, hope you guys appreciate the little ad lib. All right, guys, another little transition here. All done mowing, dude. Uh, it is exactly 154. 154 from 12:30. So 1:30, hour and a half. Hour and a half to do this whole property. I'm gonna fly the drone here as we finish up. We'll uh, show you guys what it looks like. But absolutely uh, impressed with how the Titan kept up. I did run out of gas halfway through. I haven't even filled it up one time this year, uh, and I think we got a. Uh, one gas tank uh, saddlebag here goes all the way down. So I put about three gallons in. Uh, I don't even know if that was half. But this thing, I'm telling you guys, like straight up, did a great job. Um, if you guys are debating the Toro Titan HD, big thumbs up, man, big thumbs up. Uh, I, I have no obligation to Toro to say that. I'm telling you guys straight up, uh, it's a solid little mower. I'm glad that I did uh, accept this thing back in spring knowing that we'd probably buy some land. I didn't turn it, no, it turned into my dream property like this and very, very thankful for that. Uh, one thing that I know a lot of you guys ask, the My Ride. So it's like $600 option, definitely a must, okay? It's 600 bucks, I did talk to Toro about that and they said a majority of those that sell, do sell with the Toro My Ride. Uh, that's the suspension platform seat right here. So I'll tell you guys what, I cannot imagine trying to mow, you know, acreage Right, I can't imagine trying to go over dips and divots and bumps. As nice as this looks, it's still it's got its divots, right? But I couldn't imagine trying to. I couldn't imagine trying to as I fall and die, right? I couldn't imagine. <laughs> thumbs up for not dying. Uh, trying to do this without that suspension platform. So let me fly the drone here. We'll wrap this thing up. But uh, thumbs up. What do you guys think? Are you guys in the market for a Toro Titan? Do you guys have one? Leave me some comments. Let me know how you guys like them. But. What else you guys want to see demoed on the property, man? Uh, let's get some more mowers. Let's keep doing some time challenges, some time trials. It's like the good old Mario Kart and uh, uh, you know racing uh, video games back in the day that it's all coming out. We're gonna do time trials, right? And beat it by a few minutes every time. All right, guys, over and out. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Catch you guys on the next one.